Welcome back. Now let's take a look at some sports. Here's Charles Eruka. Welcome to Sports News. Super Eagle striker Emmanuel Emenike has made a shocking announcement on his Instagram page that he is retiring from international football. Emenike said on his Instagram, quote, after five great years, I'm happy to announce that I've put full stop to my national team career for the sake of national peace. It's a pleasure for me to have played for this great country. I never regretted it and I think it's the best time to end it. End of quote. The LIN of Dubai striker's decision comes a day after reports broke that coach Sandy Olize was considering dropping him from the next month's World Cup qualifier against Swaziland after he went two years without scoring for the three-time African champions. Super Eagles coach Sunday Olise in the meantime has called up Enugu Rangers defender Matthew Etim to the team's training camp as they prepare for the second leg game against Burkina Faso in the 2016 African Nations Championship qualifier this weekend. Etim takes the place of Wari Wolves defender Solomon Kwambe who has been left out of the squad after he suffered an injury in Saturday's 2-0 win over the Stallions of Burkina Faso. The Chan Eagles will leave for Ouagadougou on Thursday with a squad of 18 players ahead of the return leg on October the 24th. <laughs> and in the age grades, defending champions, the Golden Eaglets have arrived in the iconic city of Vina del Mar ahead of their FIFA on the 17 World Cup second group A match against the host Chile on Tuesday. Nigeria lead the group with a maximum three points after grinding out a 2-0 win over the USA, while Chile and Croatia shared the spoils after a 1-0 draw. Coach Emmanuel Amuneke has cautioned that the match against the host would be a different ball game as it could afford them an opportunity to qualify for the knockout stages. The Golden Eaglets earlier today held, had a feel of the Sao Salito Stadium venue of the game against the Chileans. And in club football, Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger insists his team will have to play with more intensity when they take on Bayern Munich in their pivotal Champions League Group F match in North London. The Gunners have had a disastrous start to their European campaign, losing their first two matches against Dinamo Zagreb and Olympiakos to lie bottom of the table. Wenger admitted that in those games, his side may have not had the same focus they've shown recently in the English Premier League where they've risen to second place. And in football administration, World Football governing body FIFA has shortlisted 10 players for the 2015 FIFA Women's World Player of the Year. German goalkeeper Nadine Angara, who became the first goalkeeper to win the award in 2013, is in contention for the awards. Also in the race for the awards are Switzerland's Ramona Bachmann, France's duo Amandine Henri and Eugenie Le Sommer, Carly Lloyd, Megan Rapinoe and Hope Solo of the United States, Aya Miyama of Japan and Celia Sasich of Germany complete the list. A final list of three players will be announced on November the 30th with a winner set to be announced on January the 11th, 2016 at the FIFA Ballon d'Or Gala. That sports news is back to Ijoma with the rest of the news at 10. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Nigeria's former president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, is leading a 54-member Commonwealth International Observer team to monitor Tanzania's general election scheduled for October the 25th. And reports indicate that the Tanzanians are confident that his presence will bring about a credible election. And on the other side of the continent, many migrants are still trying to make their way into Europe as they continue to seek refuge under unfavorable weather conditions. Here's Adishawa Josh with more. Tens of thousands of Syrians have been rendered homeless after a government-led offensive hit rebel-held areas south of Aleppo. Dr. Zaydun al zawabi head of the Union of Syria Medical Relief Organization, confirms several villages in the area are now deserted. While well, the government offensive is the latest of at least four launched with Russian air support in the past two weeks. And finally, Members of the African Union's new 25,000-plus strong multinational standby force are gathering to begin field training in South Africa. 
The exercise is aimed at ensuring the force is ready by January 2016 to respond to crises across the continent. AAU's Chief Policy Development Unit, Peace Support Operations, Jide Okeke, spoke to me earlier about the modus operandi of the troops. The deployment of the African Standby Force uh, would be dependent on a political decision uh, by the African Union member states. So in that regard, it will be difficult for us to have what you could describe as a unilateral intervention without an authorization from member states. That's the Foreign News Wrap-Up. Back to you, Ijama. Thanks a lot, Adeshawa. And on entertainment news tonight, stars of the much-talked-about Nollywood film 50 attend the red carpet premiere in London. Here's Mayawa Ugundele. Well, thank you very much on Entertainment News tonight. The all-star cast of the movie 50 stepped out for the London premiere of the B.E. Bandele directed movie over the weekend. The movie which screened at the just-concluded London Film Festival stars Nollywood screen divas Omoni Oboli, Dakoria Konde, Iriti Doyle and Inse Ikwe Etim. Nigerian entertainers, including Korede Belo, Uche Jombo, Jim Ike, and several others, took away nods at the Golden Icons Academy Awards, which held in Houston, Texas, over the weekend. Maven Records' Korede Belo won the Song of the Year for Godwin, while Jim Ike and Inse Ikwe Etim won Best Actor and Actress, respectively, for their roles in the movie Stalker. Akoro and Eniola Badmos both won Best Comedic Act for their roles in the movie Head Gone, which won Best Comic Film. Filmmaker Jetta Amata won both Best Director and Best Producer for his movie Black November, while the 2015 Guillermo Lifetime Achievement Award was presented to Clarence Chikura. And on the music front, comedian Julius Agu has reactivated his music career with a new song he has titled Second Chance. This song is his way of appreciating God for surviving a brain tumor surgery in the United States. A video for the song is already in the works. MC Galaxy has released a music video for the remix of his song Go Gaga, which features top acts Cynthia Morgan, DJ Jimmy Jazz, and Ghanaian star Stone Boy. The dance video was directed by Shen Song. Well, that's it on Entertainment News. Thank you so much for watching. Let's head back to the menus. Thanks a lot, Mayawa. And the main news again. The Senate ministerial screening will be entering its final lap tomorrow. Former governor of River State, Chibuke Amechi, and 17 others are expected to face the Senate as Nigerians await the outcome. Before the commencement of the screening exercise, the Senate Ethics Committee is to submit its report on the petition against former Governor Amechi. Mr. Amechi's nomination has been trailed by controversy following petitions from a group in River State accusing him of fraudulent practices. And Tanzanians have welcomed with enthusiasm former President Goodluck Jonathan, who is leading a 54-man Commonwealth Observer team for the country's general elections. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahko Nyato. You have a good night.